Hi guys, good day. Uh, nandito ako ngayon sa ating discussion material, 1.2 Petty Cash Fund. Ngayon, uh, i-discuss ko kung paano yung pag-journalize sa transactions involving uh, Petty Cash Fund. Uh, nandito tayo sa sample problem solving 6. 6 yung nakalagay, but supposedly, uh, sample problem solving 4 yan. Sige lang. Uh, never mind na lang. Uh, Iko-compare natin yung entries sa impressed fund system at saka sa fluctuating fund system. So, start na. Start ako. So, sabi niya sa January 1, okay, set aside an amount of 20,000 cash uh, to set up petty cash fund. So, uh, establishment lang ng petty cash fund. So, debit tayo Petty cash fund, then credit cash. Amount 20,000. The same goes dito sa fluctuating fund system. Kasi the same lang naman. PCF, then, i-abrivate ko na lang kasi medyo mahaba. But in practice, kailangan, hindi yan, ganyan. Ha? So, the same lang yung entry. Uh, move on tayo sa January 15. Okay. Ano sa January 15? Sabi niya, incurred postages of 1,500 and telephone bills of 2,000. So, impressed fund system, no entry. Wala tayong entry dyan. Okay? Bakit walang entry? Kasi nga, memo lang yung nilalagay. Memo lang yung nilalagay dyan na naka-incur kasi nga, linalagay muna yung record dun sa expense vouchers. Gumagawa muna ng expense vouchers. So, no entry. Parang memo entry lang nakalagay dyan. Just a short description na naka-incur tayo ng uh, expenses. Sa fluctuating fund system naman, nire-recognize natin agad yung expenses. So, debit, postages. Debit again, at uh, telephone. Lagyan lang natin bills. Then, credit agad, charge to PCF account. Then, 1,500, 2,000, then, 3,500. Yan po yung difference ng impressed fund system at fluctuating fund system sa pag-record ng expenses. Move on tayo sa January 31. Sabi niya, it should check of 3,500 to replenish the fund. Okay. Upon replenishment the fund under impressed fund system, yung entry natin, debit tayo ng expenses, then credit, cash. For 3,500. As you can see, under impressed fund system, upon replenishment, dun pa lang tayo nag- record ng expenses. Kasi nga ni-replenish. Uh, yung effect, ganun pa rin yung balance ng fund per record. 20,000 pa rin. Pero, under fluctuating fund system, kasi nga, sa previous entry natin, nag-charge agad tayo sa credit to PCF, nabawasan yung balance ng ating fund. Okay. So, kailangan natin i-replenish. How do we replenish that? Debit tayo ng PCF. Then credit, cash. For the amount of 3,500. Move on ako sa Feb 14 na transaction. Sabi niya, incurred water bills of 1,400 and electric bills of 1,700. Okay. So again, expenses, 
no entry tayo dito. No entry. Memorandum entry lang again, short description na na incur tayo ng expenses. However, under fluctuating fund system, meron tayong entry dyan. Debit water bills. Sabihin na lang natin water bills. Then, debit electric bills. Then, credit petty cash fund or PCF. Then, yung total amount niyan, move on ako sa Feb 28. Sabi niya sa Feb 28, increase the fund by 5,000. So, walang problema, the same yung entry, whether uh, impressed fund system or fluctuating fund system. So, debit ako, PCF, credit, cash. So, 5,000. Yan yung entry sa uh, pag-increase ng uh, fund. Sa March 10 naman, sabi niya, Incurred office supplies of 1,900 and internet bills of 3,000. So again, naka-incur na expenses, no entry. A short memorandum description. Na naka-incur tayo ng expenses. However, under fluctuating fund system, meron tayong again entry. So... Office supplies, debit, then debit again, internet, bills, credit, petty cash, fund. Dito, one nine, three thousand, then four thousand, nine hundred. Okay. Next naman, yung March 15. Sabi niya, decrease the fund by 5,000. So, entry lang. Debit cash. Kasi pinabalik lang natin yung amount na pinangdagdag natin dun sa petty cash fund natin, pabalik dun sa general cash ledger. Then, PCF credit. To effect the decrease. Okay. Again, whether in whether increase or decrease ng fund, the same lang yung entry, either uh, system. Then last, sabi niya, the fund was not replenished for the expenses incurred in Feb 14 and March 10. A. Hindi daw tayo nakapag-replenish. A. Automatic under fluctuating fund system, no entry na tayo dyan. No entry or no adjustment. However, under impressed fund system, kailangan natin i-adjust yung fund by recognizing the expenses previously incurred. A. So, yan. I-recognize na natin yung expenses sa Feb 14 at saka sa March 10. Sa Feb 14, we have water bills. Uh, we have electric bills. Then, sa March 10, we have office supplies. 
Then we also have uh, internet bills. Then credit tayo ng petty cash. Ayan. Yung effect, parang dinidefer muna natin yung recognition na expenses. Then kapag walang replenishment, that's the time in adjust natin yung fund. Yan yung entry. Okay. okay. I hope um, nakuha nyo kung paano uh, i-prepare yung journal entries, how to account petty cash fund, uh, under-impressed fund system, and fluctuating fund system. Okay. okay. That's all. Thank you.